I don't get called a person. He's falling deep in the death chart. That's not bad, let's just call him up. Alright, Taylor's gonna make his Major League debut, not on camera sadly, but he's gonna make his Major League debut. Probably coming off the bench. Alright, let's go, but we're gonna rock to end the season, so hopefully no one gets injured. And that would be a truly best case scenario here. I guess I could sign Napoli. I don't really trust him in the outfield though. Let's go check. Maybe we'll available. Could be a dependable uh guy to come off the bench. Alex Presley, who is with the Braves in real life. Or Carlos Beltran. Come finish off his career actually playing instead of not playing. How about that? Don't know why no one even really signed him. But we'll sign him. And option uh Taylor back down. So, Carlos Beltran is going to be playing for us for now. I don't want him to end his career potentially not playing. Because he's had a good career that he should not be. Living. So, Michael Feliz will make his debut against the Phillies. Uh, Scott Fieldman will make his season debut against Chicago. I'll look at the box scores of those games. And see what the Mariners are offering. You know, Michael Flees, Herbert Crowell for Nelson Cruz. This is tooling is my motto, and I'm not going to take it. I would rather have Flees over Cruz anyways, because Flees probably has a highly higher ceiling. And I'd obviously have more control over Flees than Cruz. Cruz is three years way overpaid, let's say no. And nope. So sim through the day. Uh, let's see if there was any last minute trades. The trade deadline has come and gone. Here's a recap of what happened on and off the field yesterday. Uh, In the National League players. Central, the Cardinals right fielder, number 41, had a day to remember amassing an impressive seven RBIs at the plate, leading the Cardinals to a win against the Braves 15 to 5. He has now hit he's safely in seven straight games. So. The Cincinnati Reds knocked out 10 hits as a team as they pushed past the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine 8-4. to Also in news from we'll Cincinnati, the claim on him, so Tyler we'll join Stevenson my, my will be out of action system. for a few days according to team reports. Hopefully. He's said to be dealing with a bruised foot. Joe Ross yes, pitched well earning his ninth win of the of season, here, so leading the Nationals to a win important. against the Red Sox 2-0. The Miami Marlins got plan on making any more trades. got the win over the Giants in San Francisco 7-4. The New York Yankees combined for 10 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Tigers. All right, let's seven uh, send the rest of this year off and hit free agency after we check the box scores real fast. So we get him. Pretty sure he'll be put in the minors. Let's make sure real fast. Yeah, he's in the minors Hello with there, our other young fans. pitcher. Let's recap what went down around the league All on right. Wednesday. Let's see. So we lose. Uh... His debut, and it goes to the closer actually. So it was a close game. I feel like it was back and forth. Beltran Happy made Friday, his debut. Fans. And Welcome to inside the show. Get a hit. In the National League Central, the Philadelphia Yellow Phillies hit a home run. put together like ten hits total run as they got the best of the Brewers at home, two. seven to six. In other Phillies Brewers news, four point one innings allowed, five runs. So that is not a good debut. Right now, uh, the Kayla, Phillies are in fourth place Kayla, in the NL East. 14 please someone tell me how to pronounce the name. Are in last place in the but NL he Central. made his over Brewers debut as well, and he did first. pretty good. He held his Kyle fort. Kyle Schwarber grabbed three base knocks, leading the Cubbies to a win over the Pirates, 4-1. Uh, to one. He is among the they National won in the ninth leaders inning. in home runs. So they walked Heading off against today, us, so Cubs let's see how Stillman does. And he does not do any better, it looks like. So we're going to clearly have some rotation things to solve. If we can get Happy a great Saturday player, a Here's great rotation arm in the offseason, that would first be great. At the we'll NL see. Central, the Chicago Cubs knocked out 12 hits as a team as they took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee, 9-4. to four. The St. Okay. Louis Cardinals smacked 15 team hits so we have as they pulled off the win against the Angels in Orange million County, 7-3. 
So we're only paying out Phillies, half of our salary that we could. Team, as they defeated the Pirates at PNC Park, uh, seven to four. Rysel Iglesias so collected his eighth win overall, helping Cincinnati get a victory over the Giants, two to one. As of today, he is in the top five in the National League in strikeouts. Eric Hosmer, Robbie Erlin grabbed Carlos win number Gonzalez, nine this year. The Padres passed the Marlins. Chris Allen, that's just their actual years. The Atlanta free Braves agency, went free agents or not, but we'll see. As they made it a laugh for against the Diamond Man. Actually reaches free agency and who stays with Darren their team. Darren O'Day collected win number three occurred, this, this year. As the very, Orioles very beat the Rockies free six to five. New York Mets combined to give up just five hits. And they got the victory in coming in here next year. Uh, let's look at this box score. Like I said, we would. Our skins are very exceed. The beginning of the work week and welcome to Inside the Show. Twenty-one four innings, last five runs, so not Thornburg great. Like I said, Bland came in, allowed two runs. The Brewers to a win over the Cubs, four to three. Hot as of today, own again, dropping his ERA even in further. But let's go ahead and just send the rest of the year because there's no more big the debuts. Cubs hopefully, the division. And we'll just send out. And Noah Syndergaard. Oh come on. Last thing we need. Okay. So we're gonna have to pause and fix this before it calls someone up that I don't wanna have called up. Uh, let's give Hauser a shot because I don't see him having much of a future, so we'll give him a shot in the big leagues before I just finish out the rest of the year. Maybe before I move on. Give him a shot to show his own. So he's only out 14 days, so it's just in. If this song gets muted, I'm sorry, but I don't know. Because sometimes the music plays through, most of the time I don't, but we'll see. So he's still on there, he's day to day. Welcome to your Saturday edition of Inside the Show. So we'll I'm go, Justin so we'll simulate and plays to... off, and we'll make sure I don't. So obviously, I think he's off now. But yeah, he's off the deal apparently because we have too many people. Let's just let the CPU decide. So now Senegar will make his first start back here. It's a W, so I see yeah, he's probably dig. It's in the season. Wow, they do that good in the minors, but they don't make the postseason. Wow. So both of the minor league farm systems have above 500 seasons. Wow, and they don't make it. Sky Sox were five games back. Why don't they have a wild card? Oh, well, they do. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Monday. In the National for League, I have, in the National Brewers, League, why don't they have one for Pacific the League? Seats, as they sink the visiting Buckos nine to six. At the moment, the Brewers are in last place and in the NL Central. Team missed They're over games as well. They were tied with this team, and I'm the assuming that team had a tiebreaker or something They're with the other team. They're over 20 games out of first. And they have no the wild card in double A. got 12 hits in this one as okay. they bested the Cubbies at Wrigley Field 5-1. to one. Looking at the standings, the Cubs are atop the NL Central. They are more than 10 games ahead of second. The Nationals sit atop the NL East. They are enjoying a five and a half game advantage. Send him the Reds back down. got 11 overall hits as so they got the best of the visiting Redbirds, 6-4. to four. Right now, the Reds up. are in third place in the NL Central. They're over 20 games out of first. The Cardinals are second in the division. They're over 20 games out of first. see if we have anyone that's going to win an award or anything. Steven Matz pitched into the ninth inning with one earned run on his line, leading the Metropolitans past the Braves 2-1. to one. Mm, As of today, the Braves are in last place in the NL East. He hasn't NL had a East. great year, They're but he could still win it, apparently. Out of first. The Mets are third in the I division. We'll have to see what Mike happens with that, but games. at the end of the year here. The Phillies. Swung it well with 13 third hits in this one as they took down the whatever fish whatever in was. Miami 10 to 5. At the moment, the Marlins are in second place in the NL East. So it's him a day, see if it calls him back up or not. 
and hoping we're good on the X. I don't want to make his debut. Welcome to our debut. Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right in. I don't want to remove him from the 40 man because I'm going to pull my waivers. Keep on 68 AO. It's Monday morning and welcome to Inside the Show. In the National yeah, League Central, the Chicago so Cubs combined for... Can we hit 100 losses? No, okay. So I finished 66 and 96. Clearly had no way. There was clearly no way to contend with the Cubs this year. The Cardinals missed out on the playoffs as well. So as I said, the Giants and the Mets, who I said a while ago were potentially going to make it, they made it. The Dodgers went 103 and 59. Giants went 92 and 70. So they were the juggernauts of the AL West. And clearly, let's let's go through. See, so that's interesting. The Twins trade away Brian Dozier, and they still make it over the Royals, who they traded him too. And that was really the only big trade at the trade deadline, except for who was it that got traded? It was to the Rays, wasn't it? I don't think the Rays. No, they didn't make the playoffs, but they had it really. They had a lot better year than they did last year. Athletics still doing poorly. So they were the worst team in theirs. Braves were the worst team in theirs. We were the worst team in ours. Uh, where, where are we stacking up here in terms of draft pick? Because I don't want to sign a big player if we're going to lose a potentially high draft pick. Unless the player is completely worth it. Why do I keep on going back to that? Alright, back to standing. So we were second worst in the NL at 66, so we're going to get the third pick if we don't lose it, which I don't know if they protect it like they do in real life. So Orlando Arcia did win NL Rookie of the Year, and Christian Yelich wins a gold glove, so that's pretty good news heading into next season. We have some clear gold gloves. Well, we have a gold glove outfielder, and we have a Rookie of the Year in Orlando Garcia. So we'll look at the final stuff for them. Villar ended up playing for some reason center field to end the year. So that's kind of weird. Beltron did not hit a ton for us because he only got 30 at bats, but he only got six hits. Garcia finished off pretty well with nine home runs, 67 RBIs. I believe I did play his debut. I don't know. Uh, Herrera did pretty good. Carter did pretty good. Collins did pretty good after he got called up. Jeanette had get good season as he normally does, which I don't know how, but he always cranks out over 10 home runs at least. Yeah, he, he's averaging 12 a year now. Uh, Yelich ended up finding the bat a little bit more than he did whenever he last checked in. Susek that came around. Susak, whatever you want to say. His bat ended up coming around. Uh, we have him under the contract for three or more years at least. Yelich for a while. <laughs> Jeanette, we're going to have to make a decision next off season on. He's going to get arbitration this year, so he's good for the next year. Uh, Carter is going to be back. Carrera is going to be back, obviously. So everybody should be back. That was in the starting lineup. Now I went to the rotation. Obviously, Santa Guard's going to be back. I'm not letting him go. Same thing with Rodriguez. He had a poor year, but we're going to give him one more shot in the rotation before we send him down to the minors to work some things out. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening with my voice right now. <clears throat> I think we should probably give Lopez one more shot in the rotation because he's getting too high overall for me to send him back down, and he's going to be a number three or number four. So we need our number two and Rodriguez to step up. Uh, Feliz needs to step up, and Fieldman had a good year, but I'm not going to keep him. So the money probably increased his performance. Let's just go with that. Hauser did a good year getting called up because I didn't expect him to have a future, but I might have to consider him a little bit more because he did pitch pretty well. Uh, Jeremy Jeffries improved a little bit. Contos had a 
phenomenal year, and he's getting old, but he's definitely going to be around next year. Thornburg had a good year considering the bullpen, how the bullpen did. Kila. And there's no stopping us right now. I feel so close to you.